Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Now this one starts differently because this one is differently. First trade show in a long time. The photo days in Belgium. And today we are ready to leave. Now look at this. Tomorrow the workshops will start there. So we are at the FIDEC booth. And I'm doing four demos a day, 20 minutes. And I'm bringing two Hensel strobes, some gels. Uh, of course my favorite modified strip light. With the light tools grid, of course. Audio. Uh, the Monfrotto stands. Those are awesome because you can click them together. And of course, in our camera bag, we have everything else. So we have our camera. Of course, the Sony. Ha, light meter. And of course, the color checker. The tether tools cable. And some tape. So I think we're pretty much okay. And of course, triggers. So we are ready to leave. Brussels is about a two and a half hour drive, but because we drive with an electric car, we probably have to charge one time. And of course, right before we are in Brussels, because the hotel doesn't have a charging point. Weird, but okay. So anyway, join us for today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors, which will combine three days of photo days in one episode. Enjoy. <laughs> Let's get comfortable, it's going to be a long ride. Okay, it's almost quarter past eight and we arrived at our room, so <laughs> we have room 420, so let's go inside and Wick is already here, so at least we have a cool TV, okay, we're all ready for tomorrow, it's gonna be a lot of fun, so for tonight, to bed and relax. Okay guys, day one of the photo days and well, we are in the center of Brussels and what a noise man, unbelievable. So this is our view and it's a pretty busy street and we like to sleep with the windows open so yeah, was, uh, let me put it this way, it was a challenge. So up for breakfast, it's now 7 o'clock want to leave the hotel at 8 because it is only 10 kilometers but it can take you up to 45 minutes so <laughs> welcome in the city okay I run a week are you ready yes and I'm hungry too but first we have to go to the restaurant for the breakfast yes and we have to wear mouth masks in the hotel so let's go
Okay guys, back in the hotel, that was day number one. Now, I do have to tell you guys, like we've been in a lot of hotels and normally every day your room gets cleaned, right? Sometimes they don't clean it every day, but normally at least they change the towels. Not in this hotel. You have to go downstairs to get new towels, even if you call them in. Now, in all honesty, I can be a little bit picky about those things, but I think clean towels every day, you only get two. We shower every day, so make sure that there are clean towels. And there's something else, and this is really funny. Now, normally when you see a lamp like this, because we wanted to call the front desk, you go like, okay, so there's a phone, there's a lamp. Phone, lamp, phone, lamp, turn on the lamp. Yeah. No light. No light bulb. So, overall, it's a really cool hotel, don't get me wrong. But these are the little things as a traveler, and of course, we've not been traveling for a long time. But all these hotels have sometimes those little weird things where you go like, it's weird. Like, on the TV, they disable the sleep timer. Like, why? You're in a hotel, so keep the sleep timer on. But overall, the hotel is great. It's a little bit noisy, but it's just a great way to connect again with people on a trade show and we've missed that so much due to COVID. Good morning, fellow YouTubers. After another night of sirens, shouting people, and hardly getting any sleep, we are ready for day number two at the photo day. So join us. It's gonna be a lot of fun again. Totally charged, like us.
Yep, it's the final day, day number three. And after that we can leave our noisy hotel room. Because also last night, a lot of ambulances or police, sirens everywhere, people shouting. <laughs> hey, welcome in the big city. Today, day number three with our model Ellen on the boot from FIDEC. And I absolutely love shooting there. Great people, but also the audience is awesome. You really see that a lot of people miss these trade shows. So join us for day number three of the photo days in Belgium, Brussels. Hey guys, we're on the photo days. Let me show you around what we do. The first thing, of course, we're gonna to do to our own booth. So here we have Rocher from FIDAC, our host and good friend, our own studio. Of course, we have all the big printers and especially the Chrome one. I'm going to show you guys that later. Well, let's walk here. We have the 3D scanners. So we're going to make a 3D picture in a few moments, 360. And of course, we have all the other stuff here, ISO and Sony. And Sony, of course, released a brand new camera. The A7 IV, an absolutely amazing camera for everybody that wants a great camera but doesn't need the high resolution from the R. Okay, that was Sony, but there's a lot more to do, of course. We have a boxing ring over here, but it's still before opening. So there's nothing going on here. But there are a lot of activities. So that's really cool, some nice sets. And overall, there's a lot of space, so people can walk around nicely. Still a lot of people that don't wear face masks, but I follow the rules. So we have Nikon. And a lot of smaller ones. You probably know how a trade show looks, right? And our model, Ellen. And here we have our friends from Belgium Digital. Really cool forum and community. I've been part of them for many years. I don't post a lot on forums anymore, but they're really cool guys. I've done a lot of work with them. And seminars so they have a lot of stuff here so you can do photos here with a boot over here the red room for readers or speakers of course that's what i mean we have some food trucks well <laughs> two it's not really trucks right it's more like a bicycle with with cover and we have a huge stand from canon with a lot of activities and of course, the dealers like Camera Express. And did you know that Camera Express also sells, of course, Tether Tools? Yes, Tether Tools, the brand that we distribute in the Netherlands, the jerk stoppers, the Arca mounts, and a lot more stuff. Camera Express, one of our dealers. Really a nice shop. And of course, there's a lot more to see, but hey, I don't want to show you too much. So let's go to our booth because now it's time for the 360 image. So we're going to take a 360 image in, I believe, three locations. And people can then walk around our set. And we are actually thinking about doing something like that online, but we still have to figure out how. And that concludes our tour of the trade show. And here we have our crew member, if she turns around. <laughs> there we go.
Okay guys, as you know, we are on the Fidec boots. Now, normally prints, of course, you have to see your work printed, but it's just a print, right? Unless you do special materials, but can you do that at home? No, unless you do something like this. And this literally just dropped my jaw. Look at this. This is a new printer from Citizen. You can print on normal paper with this. It's a dye sub solution, but look at this. This is Chrome. Isn't this freaking amazing? Look at this, man. And even on video, you don't get the whole picture, but this is so stunning. The colors just jump off the screen. And the coolest thing about this printer is that it works with a ribbon. And so you always know how much paper you have and how much dice up you have. But the Chrome, I think I'm in love. Okay guys, the trade show is closed. This was day three of the photo days. Now we're not gonna film the way back because, well, there probably will also be a few hours. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Behind the Closed Doors. If you like what we do, subscribe to our channel, leave comments below, smash that like button because we really like that. But most of all, tell other people about our channel so we can grow. Stay safe, stay creative, and of course, well, see you next time. Bye guys.